Hello, hello. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome to the Three Up Moon live stream. It's Monday, August 29th. My name is Matt, otherwise known as Three Up Moon, here on Twitch and on YouTube. And I stream every single day from 6 p.m. Pacific onward. Uh, today we're going to be messing around with more games in our weird uh, Mario like 10 or 32 in 1 compilation that we have on the Game Boy Advance. So we've actually played through and beat Super Mario Brothers Deluxe, but this is all like crammed into one GBA cartridge. Uh, we also played a bunch of... what was it? Let's see. Donkey Kong 94, which is the original Donkey Kong on Game Boy. Uh, an amazing game. It's a super unique game and basically the predecessor of Mario vs. Donkey Kong. You can actually see this on part one. This is part two of our playthrough of this, uh, this like, pack. We played some Mario Golf on the Game Boy Color, which is a, an RPG by Camelot. And we also dove into the Mario Tennis game by Camelot on the Game Boy Color. We played some Picross 1 and 2. This is a fantastic game. You know what, I might actually do a little bit of Picross to start things off. Uh, or actually, you know what, I'll do that in a little bit, because I think we left off with Dr. Mario, and this is where we were, it was Yoshi. Now Yoshi, is, or Yoshi no Tamago in Japan, um, this was just a, a unique puzzle game. It's nothing like Yoshi's Cookie. Um, just a unique puzzle game that came out on the original Game Boy and on NES. So we'll play this one to start. It looks like it was the game that was giving us issues, so uh, yeah, let's just dive in. Doesn't seem like there's audio issues right now. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Alright, so it's fairly simple. But I can't remember how to play. <laughs> Seems like it. Okay. All right, my partner just got home, so I'm just gonna be right back. Thank you. 
Crazy game. You can get like pretty sucked into it, like uh, Dr. Mario or something like that. That's where we ended off in the last part, too, of messing around with this. Uh, let me know if there's any issues with audio at all. If you notice them at all, I'll probably just switch over to Discord so I won't waste anyone's time. This music sounds very. Uh, Pokemon Red and Blue, of course, because it's the original Game Boy. Yeah, I think it was just that game. That sucks. Sucks that we couldn't dive into a Mystery Dungeon. It sometimes happens. Ah. Should have done that. Do that too. My God! No! No! no. Um. Oh no! 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 We're done. All right, we got 14 Yoshi's. It's not bad. Hey, game over. Very good. We got four mushrooms, 14 Yoshi's. I can, I can handle that. Yoshi's Cookie has a very drastically different one-player and two-player mode. Obviously, I can't play with this because two-player because I would need the link cable situation. Okay, let's try this again.
Let's start from level one still. Okay. Now like I, I usually do with the retro roulette, I try to give these games an honest shot as well. And we ended up beating, like I said, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. We, we played a ton of uh, Donkey Kong 94, and I'm always down to go back to play that game. That game's fantastic. I'm sure there's Yoshi pros out there. Who just had this game growing up. <clears throat> it's actually kind of the perfect game for Game Boy though, like the perfect handheld game for like a road trip. Ah, uh, wait, way to go. Way to go, Gleep Clop. Keep them coming, Gleep Clop. Keep them coming. Oh, 
Jeez. such tension. Let's go. It's the name of the freaking game. music sort of has like SSN vibes from the original Pokemon. Yoshi's. Oh, 
Whoops. That was also dumb, too. save ourselves. This is pretty wild. Oh, that was dumb. No! We got cocky. Seventeen Yoshi's, folks. Okay, let's uh, let's restart and play a different game. The next one on the list uh, is Super Mario Land 3, which I'll definitely dive into. If you want to see me play through this game in its entirety, as well as Super Mario Land 2 randomizers, uh, and as everyone knows, Super Mario Land 3 is actually the very first introduction of Wario, and is basically a playable game as Wario, like a like, uh, first introduction of Wario as a playable character. Um, but it's the first Wario Land game. We also played and beat Wario Land 2 and 3 um, in full and tried out the Wario Land 3 randomizer plus Wario Land 4. So all my milestones growing the channel at the very beginning has just been like Wario Land celebration. So we've played a ton of it, uh, but I'm stoked to dive into it. But I think first we're going to play some Mario's Picross because it's a lot of fun to just kind of zone out to. Now there is a Super Nintendo version, Mario Super Picross, but there's two Game Boy games. And if you don't know what a Picross puzzle is, basically you're creating nonograms, following, uh, following patterns laid out for you. Um, sort of like a su Sudoku puzzle, kind of. Here. There we go. And if you're 
one of our followers, you can drop that Game Boy email from the Binding of Isaac. Alright, okay, let's pick Ross. Uh, you'll notice that Jupiter and Ape here, who actually had a hand in working on... You've got Jupiter and Ape working with Nintendo here um, on this game, but they had a hand in working on the Pokemon games, as well as Earthbound. So, at the beginning of every stage, you can roll a row in a column, and it will auto-fill it in for you, just to get you started. But there's 15 across, these are 15 by 15 puzzles. And you get dock time when you uh, chip away the wrong ones. So you can see that this has 15 down. So we know we can fill it in all of them. Same with this. Also, welcome in, Henny Blank. Zombie Paper, can you shout out Honey Blank? Welcome in! I hope everyone's having a good Monday. And the top here we can do. Oh, oh thanks. By cross. Ride my motorcycle cross. Cross. Yep, these are 15 as well, so. Hey, come on. My D pad should not be sticking. This definitely sounds like it's sticking. I have to do some uh, maintenance on this. This 8 bit do controller. Alright, so this is complete. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, let's just guess. There our second one, and then it's six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's it. This is actually going to be a Game Boy. It's the freaking emote. That's funny. So six. Well, it's on both sides. Okay, I got you. I got you. One six three one. One 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 one. One 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 one. One 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 one. One 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 one. One 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 one. One six one one. One six one one. Baby! Drop the Game Boy emote if you got it. Drop that Game Boy emote if you freaking got it. But then pick it back up. Because the next puzzle's on you. Go. Three, two, one, go! Wouldn't that be really cool if I could just toss the game to you? To someone at random in the, in the chat? Like we do a stage and then just like. And Stegosaurus McCartney, you gotta play the next stage. <laughs> Be pretty cool. Game Boy. Let's do it. Number 
どうSo that's what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then five. Symmetry. It's very easy. for to doing my job. Wait, what? He's like, here, you do it. He's, he's a professional archaeologist. Oh, give it a try. It's okay. I'll just have this lemonade over here. in what direction it is. No, yeah, see, it's guessing. I don't want to do that. So that's six. That's seven. It's not there. Damn. So I just lost six minutes off the timer. Five, six, seven, eight. Of course that's not going to be the case. You can't guess, you gotta really like use your big brain. Yeah, of course with hint.
Game Boy Cross. How's it going? Welcome in. You didn't get any shoutouts. I know it's just all the same people over and over, but that's okay. So shouting people out. Hey yo. So it's got to be there. One, one, four. No, it can't be there. Oh, that's a that was a total guess. One, three, one, 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 four. Two, two, five. Two, three. What is this? Karibo's boot? Is it a high heel? fives, that's a six, that's a five, okay, that's it, that's it, has to be that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
That's nine. Of course, that wouldn't be one, 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 three. One, five, two, three, two. It's got to be that. Six, two, though. Six, one, five, one, 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 two, three, two. So it's got to be there. That's got to be there. That's got to be there. That's got to be there. Three. What? There's something else that we're missing, and I don't know what. Something that we're missing, and I don't know what the hell's going on. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. It's this. <laughs> so I did plan on playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon today, but for some reason it just was not working, but now everything's working when I play a different game, so. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, uh, okay then. That was bread. It looked like an apartment building, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna... What? We got options. This is pretty nice. Very classical vibe. It's like Paco Bell's Canon in D, Canon in P for P cross. That's right. I said it. P Canon. Pokemon trading card game level. Let's check it out. Let's check out Mario's Picross 2. Looks like they introduced someone in the silhouette there. Who could it be? Is that Peach? Is that Luigi's time to shine? The Super Game Boy border here. It's like fossilized and it's still a Game Boy, but it's just like chipped out of rock. I think that's easy pick us. Or just the story. Yeah. 
with the hint? Yes. Oh no. It didn't give me the hint. It's because I don't read Japanese. Okay, let's do this. I think I chose easy Picross. There we go. This is this is just Picross. So it's basically the same engine, just they added like an overworld. This feels like slightly more responsive, but this was only ever released in Japan. The sequel. The sequel that everyone else got was, I think, actually, you know what? I think Mario's Super Picross only released in, I'm not sure that released in the West. Pretty relaxing puzzles, though. If you haven't played Big Ross before. There's so many different versions of it, by the way. There's a Sega Genesis version of... Uh, actually, there's a couple Sega Genesis version of Big Ross where all the puzzles are Sega Genesis themed. There's a couple of Pokemon Big Ross um, games. There's... What else? What other Big Ross games exist? Is there a Final Fantasy one? I think there might be. So it has to be here. Or 511, okay. What? Oh, no, don't do this. What am I doing? Yeah. 13 in 1. Oh, what? It's 13 in 1 and 12 in 2. Thirteen, one, twelve, and two, two, and two. Okay. Whew. No. No. I screwed up. It's two, two, and two. So dumb. There we go. We have five minutes. We can't make any mistakes. One, one, and two, four, and two. What? No. It was the bottom. <laughs> you realize also, folks, this is only, you can see in the top left, this is only the top quarter of a giant puzzle. So in Picross 2, you have to do like all four quarters and then build the whole image. Pretty interesting game. Like, uh, I definitely would recommend checking it out. But we're gonna switch over to Warrior Land. Haven't played that in a bit. And like I said, if you want to check out uh, a full playthrough of every single Warrior Land game, except for the, the Visual Boy <laughs> or Virtual Boy version, Visual Boy. Go check uh, check out my YouTube channel. There's a full playlist of all of the Warrior Land playthroughs. We may never know what obscure blocky shape that is. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna spend too much time on Picross. Let's give it a shot. Uh, let's also. I think we can change the palette. Add some color. Okay, cool. Oh, 
or is it just not changing? <laughs> oh, we can really mess with the gamma. Nice. Oh, we got Zelda. The Zelda palette. Let's do it. There we go. <laughs> Hyrule Warriors, everybody. It finally exists. If we're going to play it, we might as well play it with a different palette, because we've already played through the whole thing. <laughs> Gotta do that third save slot, as always. Beach, course number one. So it is a little bit floaty. I always find I gotta get used to it. It takes me just a little bit of time to get used to it. Like for me, I grew up with Super Mario Land 2. This game does pull a lot of things from that. And, it, and Super Mario Land 2 really just sets up a lot of basis for enemies and mechanics and stuff in the Wario Land universe. Look at this little blue guy. I look like the genie. I look like a baby version of the genie from Aladdin. There's just so much that in this that does feel like Super Mario Land 2, but I feel like Mario Land 2 purposefully feels more refined than this because you're finally playing as Wario, which is, you know, as a character, he's a little less refined, especially here. This is probably his least refined moment in terms of character design. So I think once you get a hundred hearts, it's not a star. Normally in Super Mario Land 2, if you get a hundred hearts, it's a star. Well, not hearts, but it's it's something. I can't remember what it is. If you kill a hundred enemies, it's a star. That's what it is. So I can't remember what this, the hearts give you in this. I always like this mole character, too. <clears throat> Not a 
good number to land on. The little mini games in this are really fun. They kind of remind me of the very few, the very uh, minimal selection of mini games that you get in uh, Super Mario Land 2. I feel like we can definitely get way more than 52 coins in that stage, and you don't really get like the good ending unless you get like a ton of coins. You have to have a certain amount of coins. Warrior Land games are all about good bad endings. So I always like this little uh, power up. The Viking helmet. Let's see. Connect. And ground pound. So we can connect vertically and also just ground pound to get the enemies down here. Will they come down here? No, they won't. No! Well, that sucks. Got some Mega Man bullshit going on there. Quillfish hanging out. And Dwagon Wario. Maybe I'm a dwagon. Yeah, maybe you are. Got no coinage. Tons of Wario sound effects, but all my alerts are turned off at the moment. So, too bad. Alright, let's keep going. Ah, oh, what? This is before they figured out. Maybe we can just let them ground pound things from the top. Now, is this the first game that introduces a ground pound? Because... Depending on when this came out... Donkey Kong 94, which is also on this, this card, has the ground pound. It's basically the predecessor to the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series, if you've, ever, if you've ever played it. There's like a bunch of DS Mario vs. Donkey Kong games. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we determined that that game definitely has the first appearance of the triple jump before Mario 64. So it's the first game Mario can headstand in as well. Or handstand, sorry. Yes, there we go. Dwagon transformation. You gotta be a dwagon. D W A G O N.
Ooh, good thing you only need 10. It's an awful, an awful haul of that level for coins. Seven. <laughs> we gotta try this at least. It's a 50-50 chance, but... Worst case scenario, it cuts it in half. Yeah. It's okay. Fourteen. That's it. Fourteen. City six. Terrible time to take a sip of my coffee. But look, Wario's butt can do the job. I didn't know this. We learned something new, folks. Just turn the other cheek. <laughs> I can sit here and sip my coffee. Stretch. <sighs> and Wario's butt is taking care of it all. Should have trusted the button. Big Genie. Is a one-up. Okay, cool. So when you get a hundred hearts, you get a one-up. Oh, that's a uh, checkpoint. We look an awful lot alike, and it's a little bit scary. What Wario? No. That sucks. We lose all our coins too. Yikes. Oh, good thing we paid for that uh, checkpoint. 
I'm glad everything's working audio-wise and everything's in sync. Oh. Another secret. I do really like playing Mario Picross, but I feel like, as a streamable game, it's not the most streamable game. Other puzzle games are more streamable, I'd say. Plus, you know, after a hard day, not really a hard day, just a long day at work. I think a platformer where we can body check a bunch of crabs and ground pound while wearing our Viking helmet is, uh, <laughs> is in order. We could have taken the low road the entire time. successful run, that's for sure. Also a platform, and you wait for the thwomp as it comes around the corner. Oh my god, we can only step on top of his head. Like this. You wait for the thwomp. <laughs> that was a pixel away. One pixel away. The first Warrior Land game I actually played was Warrior Land 3. I rented it from Blockbuster and then had to buy it pretty much right away. I used to bike to Blockbuster and rent Game Boy Color games. <laughs> what a funny destination and thing to do, you know? You coming? Oh, he's coming. You okay? Now pretend you're 
purchased a Thwomp's toupee. I love the design of those bats and these slumps. I just said I love your design. You're gonna attack me like that? Jeez, okay. Hostile. Hostile swoopers. I know they're called swoopers in, uh, in Super Mario World, but I don't know what they're called in this. Annoying. That's what I'd say. I think I'm screwed. I think I'm screwed. No, wait. Yes, I am screwed. Yeah, what are you- what? What are you guys supposed to do? Are we supposed to go all the way back? No. We gotta start from the beginning. Now, this isn't a wheel spin stream, but if you do want to spin the wheel, I'll just go to the next game in the compilation. Yeah, we just have to take the hit. I just loaded when I wasn't supposed to load. Just run away from the pump. 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 Hey. Body check is a little genie. Thank you. 
You get one heart for any, every enemy you kill, too. Nice. Try the other game. Ah, uh, you sure? Gotta do the C course. Excuse me. You know what the name of that enemy is? The Wandering Goom. Like a Goomba. But without the ba. A Ballas Goom. Goomba. Hey. I'll take one heart. <laughs> not even a hundred. Definitely not getting a good ending if we were to complete this. section of the last level looks a lot like this level, which is cool. They're trying to create cohesion, I guess, from level to level. Well, if you're not a member of my Discord, I've got a Discord space there where I often do streams. I'm probably going to actually just switch over there, even though we got everything working. But we'll switch over there for the night and maybe just do some uh, some retro cartoon streaming. Um, but yeah, I do streams there, which uh, are a little more casual. I've got um, different music playlists that we listen to and just hang out and uh, watch classic cartoons. I spent a lot of time curating classic cartoons uh, and just animated shorts and stuff like that from the last 100 years. I spent the last 10 years actually curating it on YouTube, and uh, it's an, they're ongoing playlists. And usually I'll just put them on and put them on shuffle. Um, and yeah, they're pretty funny nostalgia trips. There's some really great modern animation as well in there. So I might just do that. But this has been fun. This is part two of our weird Mario, like, I guess it's a 32 in one compilation. <laughs> just got so many. Uh, I've actually got two of them here, and we've played one that had all the Donkey Kong games before on stream, if you want to go check that out on my YouTube channel. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. Uh, stick around, we're going to raid somebody. And I will see everyone in the next part of this, which will just be part three of us messing around with the Mario 32 and ones. We'll probably um, start with Warrior Land 2. Well, that was a funny way, way to end. 
We'll probably start with Warrior Land 2 in the next episode. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. It uh, looks like a bunch of people are streaming right now. Let's go raid Shellshock Prime. He's got a great channel over there. He is playing some retro stuff. I just It just looked like something pretty cool. I just saw it. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Let's do it. Okay, everyone, I will see you in the next part. If you're watching on YouTube, I will see you in the next stream. Usually it's around 6 p.m. Pacific uh, every evening. So tomorrow evening around 6, we'll be doing that. Um, I'll probably be running a poll in Discord as well very soon to pick the next Pokemon game to Nuzlocke and do a Nuzlocke challenge. Now that we beat our very first one, uh, it's just been super fun to revisit Pokemon games by randomizing and shuffling all the, the moves and stuff. So I'm excited for that. Um, have a great evening, and thanks again for supporting. I'll see you in Shellshock's channel.